welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm actually gonna be sharing with you guys my entire contemporary designer handbag collection. If you guys have been following me for quite some time, you know that last year or, yeah, last year, I started doing like more designer hauls and increasing my designer collection just because I have been able to um, buy a little bit more designer purchases. If you follow me on Instagram, you see some of those once in a while. But just because I do have designer items does not mean that that's the only thing I buy. I do have a little bit of a collection of contemporary designers that I love just as much. Some of these bags I've actually had for several, several years. I refuse to give them away just because they're so good. They're some of my favorite bags and I think they're really good quality and price. So I wanted to share them with you guys. If you're new around here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I typically do videos all about beauty, sometimes fashion, and sometimes the occasional lifestyle post. So if those are things that interest you, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell button so you are aware every single time I post a new video. Then in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my entire contemporary designer handbag collection. I'm going to be sharing with you guys any SLGs like little wallets, earrings or anything like that because I feel like we could be here forever talking about that. If you want a separate video on like jewelry or small other goods that are more contemporary designers and stuff I can certainly do that for you guys but I will do that in a separate video. I'm also not going to be sharing with you guys my entire collection. There are other bags that I have that are not designer and that are also not contemporary designers so I'm not going to be sharing those in this video either. This first bag I have is actually my second oldest contemporary designer handbag. This one I feel was so so popular and I feel like everybody had it at one point. Maybe a lot of us still have it. Love this bag and this is a bag that holds special meaning for me and I will tell you in a second once I show you. So the first one is this Michael Kors Hamilton bag in the grain leather and this is like the brown or like tan color I can't remember the color exactly I will insert mod shots of this so you guys can see proportion on me and stuff I remember that when I first saw this bag when it first came out or it was like really popular I really really wanted it like I wanted and lusted after this bag but I was not able to purchase it because it was way out of my price point I think this bag is like $390 um, and I think that's still the current value if I'm not mistaken or current price it's at but that was way too much money for me I could not spend it on this bag my husband and I were like so so poor at that point really really wanted this bag I love the size of it you can fit so much into it I loved that this had like the lock here and it does have the key that actually works they actually stopped making this model um, with the lock I think a couple years ago really wanted this bag in this color and I just could not afford to buy it. It's like three years, maybe four years into our marriage. Um, and uh, we found this bag at TJ Maxx. And I think it was on sale for $250, something like that. I think it was like $100 or $130 off, which was still a lot of money for us at that point. But it was no longer almost $400. Um, and so for my birthday, my husband uh, did pick this up for me. And it just holds so much sentimental value for me because I really, really wanted this bag for several, several years. When my husband and I started becoming a little bit more financially stable, when we started kind of being able... Um, to not just make ends meet. I wanted to get something special for me and he got me the bag that I really wanted. I just cherish this bag so much because of all the memories and how hard we worked for it. So um, I love this bag. Also huge, like it's a huge bag. You can fit so much in there. I love the versatility of it being a top handle and then the handles actually fold down. And then this one does have the strap on it here so you could just wear it over the shoulder. I just love how practical it is. You can fit so much in this and wear it multiple ways. I've worn this and even this year I think I've worn this just because I love it. It's so good. Um, it's held up really well and I just love this bag. So sticking with Michael Kors, the next bag I have is this bag here and I can't remember what it's called. Um, uh, yeah, I can't remember what it's called. We'll have it linked down below for you guys. This one was one of my more recent bags. I actually got this last year and this was a gift from my sister. So when I graduated law school, she gave me this bag and I really, really love it. It's this beautiful like brown tan color again. I love this color. I think it's just a really nice color for a top handle bag. It looks so chic and put together and it just goes with a lot. Um, so I love this. It does have a little like... Um, lock here and the keys are inside here somewhere I think. That is an accordion style bag so it does have the accordion here and what I really liked about this bag is it reminded me a lot of the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag. I had actually been eyeing one of those bags but 
I just wasn't sure if I was going to get a lot of wear out of it or versatility of it, what color or anything. And this one just kind of ticked all the boxes. It has that accordion style. It's that toe top handle style. It's actually pretty big as well. So it does have multiple compartments. This front one here does have this one and this one has like a pocket back here. And then it does have this back compartment as well that because it is accordion style, you can really open it up a lot. And even though it is leather on the inside here, I don't have any scratches. I don't have any like tearing or anything like that. It's just really well made. It also does come with a strap that's the same color as the bag and then has gold on this. I love that it comes with a strap just because I love having straps so I can interchange it with all my bags. But if you don't want to wear it as a top handle like this, um, or if you're just loading a lot on there, you can add the strap on there and it just looks really cute. Handy it is. I also love the like snake print here and then here on the handles. Very, very cute. Such a nice gift. Um, and I still get a lot of use out of this one. This next bag is my oldest contemporary designer handbag. I love this bag. I don't even know if they make this bag in style anymore, um, but I love it. have gotten so much use out of it and it's still going pretty strong even though it is the oldest one I own. So this is actually from Ralph Lauren. This is the double and I think it's the dairy tote if I'm not mistaken. It is this tote style bag. It does have the top handles here and this one is also really nice because the top handles actually fold down. This one has very similar features to the Prada Safiano tote and that's why I really liked it when I first saw it. So you can actually these in and it creates a like thinner bag. It's so wonky because I've had it for so many years um, but it's still holding out strong. So yeah you can snap it shut and it creates more of like a closed one. I always kind of keep it open just because again this is one of those bags that if I don't know what to wear, um, if I have a lot of things I'm carrying and want something easy I will bring this bag just because it's very sturdy, it's very hardy. You can see that there's no scratches here. There's some denting of the leather because I didn't stuff it. I didn't use to stuff it until recently um, and it's just so big so yeah it just has a lot of dents there. These are functional here, so this is a compartment. You can add things on there. Have the main compartment on the inside. Have like a back pocket here, and then front pockets there. Yeah, this one is just great. When I travel, I will carry this bag sometimes too. You can wear it top handle. Like you can see here, it does come with a shoulder strap as well. Um, so that's just really handy. You can wear it multiple ways. The bag is probably like seven years old, six years old or something like that. It's the oldest one I own and it's been through it all, like rain, snow, everything, um, and it's still going pretty strong. The feet at the bottom are starting to wear a little bit too, but like I said, I wear nails all the time and there's no like dents or like scratches or anything. So far, this one is going strong, um, and yeah, it's just a really good basic bag. So this bag, I actually got this year. It's my second newest handbag. You guys love this bag. Every time I wear it on Instagram, everybody's always commenting on how nice the bag is and everything. This one is actually from Versace, but this is from the Versace Jeans Couture line. So when you think like designer brands, Versace is here. And and then Versace jeans couture and then I think they have like a Versace sport so this is in line with like contemporary designers love this bag I first saw this bag on Instagram and I can't remember who was wearing it searching through like the Versace hashtag and I saw this bag come up and I loved it it just looked so cool so unique I love this gaudy like um buckle here so eye-catching so vibrant i love the mixture of the gold and black together and i kind of like the shape of this so this is like a camera bag shape but i feel like you can use it for so much more than just the traditional camera bag way so when you open it up it is three compartments it's like that accordion style you can't really like squish it down it pretty much just stays this size this like boxy shape um then you have this top compartment here you have a front compartment here and then of course you have the middle compartment and oddly enough the middle compartment is like the smallest size. I always feel like I get more 
like stretch here and back here than I do this middle size. I don't know why that is. It does have a zipper. You can close it up so you don't have to be worried that this bag's gonna flop open. Um, if you wanna keep like your more secure stuff there, I always keep like my wallet and like secure stuff in here and then everything else will just be like hand sanitizer, face masks and stuff like that. It does have D-rings on the side as well and it does come with an adjustable strap. It's really weird to maneuver at first how to put it on because it has snaps after you get it it's super easy um, so yeah it does come with the strap wear it crossbody which is usually how I wear it or you can take it off and then just have it as like a clutch or like an under the arm bag you can certainly do that as well otherwise I do have like a gold chain that I interchange between my bags it's like a thicker gold chain you can wear it like that as well and that's what I really like about this too I can wear it with the strap that it comes with or I can change the straps out on there there's also a back pocket here so you can add like just quick access things. I usually keep my phone in here because it's like right next to my body. Um, but I really like it. Because this one is more bulky, it does pop out a little bit more. It's not going to be like laying nice and flat on your body. It is going to pop out a little bit more. And I know that that bothers some people, uh, but you can't really like change the shape on it. But I kind of like it. I kind of like that bulkier bag sometimes because I feel like it gives it like an edgier kind of vibe. And while I love this, this is very heavy. So sometimes like if you're trying to like open the bag and like you're holding it by the strap, it is going to like tilt backwards because all of the weight on um, this is coming back. So that's a little bit annoying like if you're in a rush or like if you grab the bag by the straps and this is open and it's not buckled all the way, this is gonna like lean forward like this because all the weight is right here. Inner things, um, I still love this bag. It's super, super cute. The bag oftentimes does go on sale. I think normally it's $3.90, almost $400, something like that. Um, I did pick mine up on sale. I think I got it for like $170 or $180 around there. Um, I've seen it go on sale multiple times like that. Sometimes it'll be like $200. It just depends when you get it. So definitely buy this on sale if you can. It's at a full price. But I really do love this bag. I think it's such a good one and it's so different. I don't see that many people with it. Um, and I just really like it. So this next bag is one of my favorite bags, but for some reason I have not gotten a lot of use out of it these last couple of months. I just have to be more active about uh, remembering it. Um, but I really love this bag. I love the color combo of it. Um, and it's such a classic shape. So this is from Coach. And this is the Coach Cassie bag. The two-tone one does have the cream here and then this like light beige pink pocket on the back. I wish this was more pink than white because um, it's like rubbing up against your clothes and you don't want discoloration, but whatever. And then the top is a pink skin handle. I love this bag. This is such a good bag and I feel like this is a bag that everybody needs in their collection. First of all, this is the same shape and almost the exact same dimensions as the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. It's way, way cheaper obviously because this is Coach. It does have the traditional Coach logo here, which I think is really cute, the like antique gold. You just open it with a turn lock. On the inside, it is this um, like lining here which I like it's not like a full suede or anything again very similar to the Pochette Matisse it is three compartments and you can see here that you can actually stretch it out a good amount so it is that like accordion style the biggest compartment is in the middle part and then you have the back here and then you have this front part here and I actually really like that it's very easy to put things um, in order have it organized not have things going all over the place just have this pocket here softer kind of leather even though it's like this pebbled leather it is still soft and I want to maintain its shape and it does have D rings on the side and it actually comes with a strap I cannot find the strap right now I don't know where it is I have to look for it actually I haven't opened this bag in a while so I don't know where I put it but anyway um, it does come with a strap so you can wear it crossbody you can wear it over the shoulder you can wrap the strap up and just have it like a little shoulder bag moment or you can wear it top handle like if you just want to wear a top handle like this as like a little messenger bag you can do that as well and that's what I really like about it it gives you the same versatility and the same usage as the pochette matisse but if you don't want to spend I think it's like eighteen hundred dollars for the pochette matisse um, this is a great alternative and they make it in so many styles I'm not not sure if this particular style is still available if I can find one I will leave it linked down below 
um, but I know they make it in the monogram one, like a beige one. They make two-tone color ones, like a blue, a pink, purple. You can just get so many varieties of this one. This is one of my favorite bags. It's so useful, and because of the colors, it goes with so much, and I just think it looks really good. Right, and then the last bag I have is actually my newest bag. This one I actually bought during Black Friday. I had been wanting it for several months, and then it was sold out, um, and I kind of gave up on it, but I saw it during Black Friday, and it was at a steal like ridiculously low price um, that I just decided to pick it up. This is my newest bag. This is also from Coach and this is the Coach Mia Satchel. It's that tote style kind of bag with the handles here and then of course the handles go down which I really like. And this is not an accordion style but it's like this like V shape. It's black here black on the front, black on the handles, and then it, as you can see it does come with a black um, adjustable strap. Like recently I was getting a lot of crossbody bags, like smaller crossbody bags, and aside from the big top handles I had, I didn't have that many like bigger top handles or bigger satchels or anything, and so when I saw this one on the Coach website, I really, really loved it. I just thought it ticked a lot of boxes. I had actually seen um, when I went into the Louis Vuitton store, they have a bag very, very similar to this, like the exact same shape with the black piping on the outsides and the handles. It's called the Louis Vuitton Palace. Um, and that one is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I loved it, but I think it was like $2,200 for almost the same shape and size. And I just wasn't sure if I loved it enough for $2,200. So when I saw this coach one, I loved the monogram print. As you guys saw, I do have a lot of light brown and I only have that one black Ralph Lauren tote. Um, I don't have anything in this like color combo, this like dark brown, chocolatey brown, and then this like black here. Um, I love the gold details on it. So I just thought it was really cute. I love the size of it as well, and the functionality of it. So this front pocket, you can stick stuff in there. This back pocket opens, you can stick stuff in there. Inside, it's pretty big and roomy too. There's pockets right in here and then a pocket back there. And these pockets actually don't zip, they snap shut and open. Not like a micro suede lining like the Louis Vuitton one or anything like that, it's just fabric, but I don't care. I just think it's a really good practical bag. I feel like I would get a lot of use out of this one. It does have feet at the bottom as well. Um, and like I said, I had been wanting it for quite some time. I like this combination and normally I don't like like the Coach monogram or a lot of monogram for contemporary designers, but this one I didn't mind and I just loved how similar it looked to the Louis Vuitton one and it just checked all the boxes. All right, you guys, so that was it for today's video. Leave it down in the comments below if you guys own any of these bags, if you have owned any of these bags, what your thoughts are, or if there's other contemporary designers or bags that I am missing out on, please let me know. I know I don't have like any Tory Burch, I don't have a lot of Marc Jacobs or anything like that, but I know that those are fan favorites. So if you have any recommendations, leave it down below for you guys. Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff is gonna be linked down below for you guys, as well as coupon codes to help you save some money. I will link all of these bags if I can find them. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you all in my next video.